What the hell are you doing? I was getting ready. This isn't a movie. <laughs> beep boop beep boop beep boop beep beep. Uh, you made sure everything was up to code, right? Okay, bye. Uh, you guys, uh, you guys made sure, you guys made sure, right? Everything's. Today, we're going to space in one of my favorite avatars. There's some avatars that I really want to make reviews about to show them off because I think they're so cool and I use them all the time. But I want to do that in a unique and hopefully entertaining way. If you do like this video, leave a like, let me know. And if you find these interesting and you want to see more in the future, make sure to subscribe. But we're going to go for now. It's launch time. This avatar is Astronaut V2 by Darktooth, one of my favorite avatar creators of all time. I constantly find myself using this avatar to go into public worlds and just show it off to people because I think it really pushes the limits of what people think an avatar can be. And I think that's one of the things that makes it super cool and makes it stand out. First, I'm gonna take you through all of the things that this avatar can do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you where you can find it and hopefully you get to experience and show it off to people as well because it is always super fun every single time i never get tired of this avatar first of all it has a neat little toy space shuttle that you can fly around with your hand or whatever i think it's really kind of fun uh i think it, the concept of an astronaut kind of just like playing with a little shuttle is kind of funny and then we also have a really cool working magnifying glass which i've only ever actually seen on two avatars I also like that it works even if it's on your back you don't even have to have it in your hand then we also have a cool telescope that i don't really know what to say about it i wish you could look through it but unfortunately you can't but you can move it around which does make it more immersive but another thing that everyone is most interested in and very understandably is the shuttle launch itself the shuttles have six seats to take players into space and also like tons of really nice smoke and fire particles from the launch I really don't know how to describe everything about this. It's just so cool. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm always impressed by it every time I see it. I've really have honestly never seen an avatar like this. When you start the launch, the little pod with the players in it will load up onto the space shuttle, which actually ends up going on the bottom of the external fuel tank. I'm not a space shuttle launch engineer or anything, but I wouldn't put your crew on the fuel tank. I just, I just feel like that could cause some problems. An official countdown sequence will take place and then the shuttle will take off and this is where it gets kind of interesting. There's actually two different launch options. One will just launch you straight into the sky. It's called the successful launch. Nothing really goes wrong. Eventually the players will fall back down in the separation of the fuel tank. Maybe that's why they load the players onto the bottom of that so like they don't actually have to keep flying forever. Uh, it's like a good way to end the experience. And then you float back down to the world. But the other one is called the, the nuke shuttle and what it will do is it has some extra animations where the shuttle will start to like fall off in altitude and the the fuel tank will fall down to the ground and explode and it's absolutely like stunning like the animation for it there will be a ton of debris and like rocks and stuff that'll fly toward you across like the entire world really and they'll just all fly at you and it will basically like bury you and make it really really dark and then by the time that you can see again somehow the avatar like retextures everything in the world and i really haven't seen this on very many avatars either that's another thing that makes it really special and everything will look like burnt and charred and there'll be a huge explosion like in the background i do want to note that if you do end up using this avatar one thing that is really important is to use it in a world that has a big enough skybox so that the shuttle doesn't fly through it and that the explosion isn't outside of the skybox or you won't be able to see any of it also sometimes shaders certain shaders in different worlds will affect the way it looks but as long as you have enough room it should be pretty epic no matter what if you're interested in using this avatar it is public and you can get it if you search up dark tooth in the world's search their avatar world will be the only thing that shows up and i honestly recommend going there even if you're only a little bit interested because they have tons and tons of other avatars that are amazing 
I actually want to make some videos on some of their other avatars if I can think of a creative way to do that because I actually use a lot of their other avatars pretty often and I think that they're all really really cool and unique. Some of the other avatars that they have really do also push the limit of what people might think the avatars can even do and I think it's so cool. I don't know. I love it. Darktooth, if you, if you see this, you're awesome. <laughs> I don't I don't know if that was cringe or not, but I really do think they're really cool and I definitely recommend checking out their avatars. All right, everybody. I guess that's where this video comes to an end. I just wanted an excuse to use this voice filter one more time, so I decided to make an outro in the pod and in my spacesuit. I, <laughs> honestly, this video was a lot of fun to make. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I definitely highly highly recommend checking out uh, this avatar and the other of Darktooth's avatars, if you've never seen them before, they're so cool. I can't stress that enough. I know I've said that like three times now. Anyways, I hope you have a good rest of your day and goodbye.